Energy is an extremely important subject. It fuels our economies. It gives us quality of life as we know it. At the same time, thanks to science, we've been able to learn that the ways in which we've generated energy and consumed energy are putting us on a path toward change in our climate, a change that could be catastrophic if we don't address it thoughtfully today. As a scientist and engineer in this field, I think now it's the right time to start a very serious action to uh, prevent uh, global warming and also the emission of uh, greenhouse gases. There's no denying we can't walk away from this. We can't neglect it. Now is our time to face these issues. Some people talk about energy, some people talk about climate, but really they're talking about the same problem. How do we get more energy and how do we make sure that we protect the climate? So as IBM, we aspire to help uh, achieve truly reliable and sustainable global energy system uh, for the 21st century and beyond. We look at big companies like IBM as having a great influence on getting people to understand what the issues are and promoting those changes. Innovation is really the key to the future here because we are going to be living in a carbon constrained world. So the company that innovates, I think, is the company that's going to be really successful. IBM has had a long-standing involvement in the issues of environmental protection and conservation. In fact, going back to 1971, our chairman at the time, Tom Watson Jr., put in place the company's first corporate policy on environmental protection. And in addition to paying attention to our own internal operational performance, we have engaged in a variety of voluntary initiatives with outside organizations. We take the climate change issue at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency very seriously. One area where IBM has really demonstrated leadership is within our Climate Leaders Program. Between 1990 and 2005, IBM has reduced its CO2 emissions 40 percent. We've reduced our emissions of PFCs 58 percent between 2000 and 2005. A great example of IBM innovation is their work within our perfluorocarbon semiconductor partnership where they went out and invented new processes, new substitutes uh, to the perfluorocarbons. So they brought all that effort uh, to the table to come up with solutions that you really couldn't have thought of a few years earlier. And that just demonstrates the dedication that IBM brings to solving problems like this. And it, it is what makes IBM a leader. The Pew Center on Global Climate Change is a nonprofit organization trying to find answers to deal with the problem of climate change. We are interested in working with progressive companies who will both reduce their own greenhouse gas emissions um, and who will work with us on public policies that will result in a piece of legislation where everyone has to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. Just think about a company like IBM. They're concerned not only with their process emissions, but they're also concerned with the products they produce and making sure that those use as little energy as possible and therefore result in as few greenhouse gas emissions as possible. There's no question that IBM has been a really good corporate citizen here. As a result of everything that IBM has done, they've avoided 9 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions. If only we could have other companies doing the same thing. Going forward, we're going to rely on a variety of sources for our energy. And as we take the existing manner in which electric power is produced, we must find ways to pursue intelligent energy. One of the issues we have is that fundamentally the electric utility business is unchanged from the time of Thomas Edison. Centerpoint uh, is working on designing an intelligent utility network, a network that has the capability of measuring data out in the field, of analyzing that data, and then when necessary, taking action on that data to restore the system back to its original condition. We believe there's a tremendous increase in our ability to have an efficient grid to deliver the power more efficiently to the customer, for the customer to be able to understand their consumption patterns, their bills, 
and to make intelligent decisions about their use of energy in the home and for us to allow the grid to be more of a digital grid. IBM is bringing technology expertise, their innovation in the field, to a real world setting here at Centerpoint Energy. It's our collaboration with IBM that has allowed the intelligent utility network to move to a level that will truly be transforming for the electric utility industry.